Hey scientists, wanna do some fun science at home? Well, all you need to do is get your hands on a little container. You might be able to find a little Tupperware container, maybe something that has a lid that clicks on nice and tight, something that would hold maybe a little bit of cellar dressing, possibly a film canister lying around the house. You might be able to dig one up from Nana's place if you're visiting her during the school holidays or over the weekend. What I do, I actually use centrifuge tubes, which sometimes I can pick up from my local chemist. Now today we're actually building rockets. So all you need to do is decorate it a little bit. I've cut out some pieces of foam and stuck them onto my tube with a little bit of double-sided tape. All I need to do now is load it up with a bit of water and then add a bit of rocket fuel. Now to get your hands on a great rocket fuel recipe, which is safe and easy to make, just jump on our website, have a look at our resource page, you can download it and print it off and make a bit of rocket fuel at home. I've got a piece sitting inside the little lid. All I'm gonna do is click the lid on, stand it up on the table and watch this bad boy fly. The lid's on, the rocket fuel's in there. It's starting to react with that water. The lid's on nice and tight, it's building up pressure. When there's too much pressure, it's gonna push down against the little white lid. There's nowhere for the lid to go, so the rocket's gonna go flying in the opposite direction, straight into the sky. Absolutely nailed it. We'll see you guys soon. T minus 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and lift off. Watch that, though.